there is uh, this view, uh, the sort of American booster, and, and this is actually a direct quote. Um, we should realize that whatever its flaws, the American healthcare system is the best in the world. After all, if you get sick, there's no other place in the world you'd want to be treated than in the United States. That is a direct quote. It happened uh, about 10 months ago at a conference I was at, um, and I was like, hmm, not my experience. <laughs> Um, in fact, my experience is that most Americans at the moment are bitching and moaning, excuse the French, for, about the American healthcare system. And, as Gallup survey says, first time in Gallup's two decade trend, less than half of Americans are complimentary about the US healthcare system, with 48% rating it as excellent and good, but the majority saying, not so hotsy totsy. Uh, costs are still enormous, $4.7 trillion, and I just happened to look up yesterday, maybe some of you keep this in your mind, um, you know, the World Bank figures about GDP around countries. We have now surpassed both Germany and Japan in terms of our healthcare spending is bigger than their entire GDP. And we all know that quality is uneven, uh, but tends to the poor. Um, you know, going back to that American booster, this is the thing always trotted out. I'm an oncologist, uh, as Rachel said, so I'm very proud of this. This looks at the ca uh, cancer rates, five, five year survival, rigorously compared all across the world with the same methodology used on their data. And you can see that the United States does very, very well. The arrows point to where we are. Well, the, the, points to where we are. We do very, very well in five-year survivals in general. We're actually number one in breast cancer, um, uh, but there are, uh, this is cancer. That's, may, I would say, the only place where we're like, we are the world's leader. Take almost anything else, hypertension. You know, this is super important. There are 110 million American adults who have hypertension, 10 million who don't even know they have high blood pressure. According to the CDC, less than 25% of adults with hypertension have it under control. Um, I don't know your standard, but that's definitely an F in my class, okay? High blood pressure contributes to 700,000 deaths per year or more. That's more than cancer. We're only at 600,000, right? Um, and the tragedy is that there's got, I can't think of very many diseases that are easier to treat except the ones that are, you know, basically cure themselves, right, like the flu. This is uh, diabetes. We have about 38 million Americans with diabetes and 36 and a half of them have type two diabetes. 10 million again, don't even know that they have diabetes. Um, high quality care, you know, it's basically, you gotta do four things. Control the blood glucose or hemoglobin A1C. Control the blood pressure. Make sure the cholesterol's down and a patient's on a statin have, and have the patient have an annual eye exam and an annual foot exam. 22% of diabetics have the first three under control. That's it. Yeah. Just like hypertension, we're doing a miserable job. Not that complicated a disease also. Infant mortality, you know, this is shame, shame, shame. The United States infant mortality rate 5.5 per thousand. We have about 3,600,000 births a year. That's about 20,000 deaths. Among 40, uh, 49 countries reporting to the OECD, these are rich countries, 36 countries have lower mortality rate than the United States, right? The U.S. has three times the infant mortality of countries with the best results. Um, places like the Netherlands, Norway, etc. Maternal mortality, this is a little more controversial, some of you may have noted. Um, the traditional figure is that our maternal mortality is uh, about uh, 33 women per 100,000 births die with African American women way higher. Um, and again, we're way higher than the OECD average and way higher than the Netherlands, Japan, Norway, places that really have uh, basically almost no maternal mortality. Um, I haven't mentioned lots of other areas, whether it's cardiac care, stroke, chronic kidney failure, rate of avoidable deaths, obesity, where we do just a terrible uh, job. It really is poor performance, nothing for us to be proud of. Thank you.